Looks like we have Alex versus Shogi coming up. So I don't know much about Alex, but I do know about Shogi. I played against him in the first round. He ended up beating me. No salt. Okay, maybe a little. But <laughs> he's definitely a very good player, so... Gonna see an interesting match coming up. We're probably gonna see either Marth, Roy, or Dark Pit. Or if he's feeling gutsy, he's gonna pull out some. But I severely doubt it. Oh, is this actually happening? Is he going to do it? He should have put all Shulk against me. Alrighty. Like, we're getting started here. Uh, doing the standard rock, paper, scissors that decides the match. Alright, and it looks like we're going to be going on the battlefield. One of Marth's best stages, just because of the platform pressure he can apply with... Oh wait! He's not playing Marth! This is so weird. He's playing Shulk. Alright. Still, Battlefield, one of Shogi's favorite stages, plays Marth so much that like he just has amazing experience on this stage, and it's really hard to just compete with him on this stage. And we're seeing a villager come out, so you don't see too many of those in our local tournaments here, so this will be an interesting match for sure. Going for the reap with the fairy charge, that's bad. Villager a little bit too light, doesn't fall quite fast enough. A nice F smash coming out from Villager there. Shogi here in buster mode, trying to get that damage on, so it switch to smash for an early grab kill. You know, grab action, smash grab might actually kill right now at the edge. So, you're gonna be, have to be careful of that. Oh, and the footstool, but jump, uh, helpfulness there. Going into shield play, that's actually probably a wise option just because of villagers' kill options here. And shulk in shield mode is just so difficult to deal with. Plus the counter has more knockback, I believe. But switching to jump to get that high kill, very nice there. Switching back into buster, get that early percent while you can before he ends it. If in fact he ends it. You can just see like the amount of damage Buster puts out. It's just really, really good. Going into shield at the exact right time there. That was perfect. I feel like that up air definitely would have killed him if he wasn't switching to shield in that immediate moment. And he goes for a potential game. He doesn't quite get it. And switching to she speed. Arguably Shulk's best Monado art and gets the kill with the downer. Very nice there. Clara covering both options from the um, left and the right, so that's very good. And Sherry is getting damaged so far. And he goes for the down smash. Gotta love that wildly impractical move in real life. Just three spins on the ground. Crazy. So it goes into smash. Definitely a kill percent for Villager here, right here, because he's so light and gets the F smash. One smash doesn't work, just try it again, you'll be sure to miss it too. Alrighty, so Shogi with a with a stock lead, 29% on him, definitely looking pretty so far. Villager trying to get him off the stage, just to kind of edge guard and be a nuisance. And Alex struggling to get back on the stage here. Manages to get it and is getting a little bit of damage off the 30, but not before he gets another grab. Charges up the bowling ball, and that was risky on Shogi's part because he would have eaten a ton of damage in Buster. Goes for the pivot F smash, but very nice shield there by Alex. Counter the up smash. Very nice. And the back there with that forward momentum. That was a little bit odd. And the SD coming out. Even game, 102% on Villager. Let's see if he can maybe bring it back. Sets up the tree. Alrighty, and the tree goes away, so the threat of that is gone. I guess the backslash gets a grab. 
And villagers up air and down are very good. I feel like the way to beat Shulk in this matchup is to just spam those and try to keep it away from him. And when he's in speed, just try to avoid him as much as you can, even more so than usual, because he can just get that. Oh, and it, oh, doesn't quite get it. Very nice DI there. Good job on the patience there, holding the shield. That definitely would have killed if he had let go early. And I really like how he's uh, using the Lloyd rocket and then jumping with the immediate spare. Covers a lot of options, covers the ground, covers the air. There's not much you can do besides shield, and that's a very good thing to do because with Villager, if you can get them to shield, you can run up and grab and get your combos off. It's very effective. Shogi having none of that. 155. Back those doesn't quite take it. Goes for jump. And if that was in Smash, definitely would have killed, but. Not going for it. Up air? Nope. Goes into speed. He definitely wants to get right up to him and just end this quickly. Because right now, if he stays alive much longer, he might be able to pull a comeback. Oh, and misses the edge. Very good thing, again, that he wasn't in smash. Wink, wink. This is the downer very nice. Shulk, I believe, at kill percent right now with the villager rage. Anyone's game. Both of them are going to be looking for their kill moves and just shy of the bowling game. And the jab will take it. Alrighty, and that's game one going to Shogi. The Shulk, very good game there. Good play by both players, Alex and Shogi. And we're going to be heading into game two. And fought 500 battles. And Shogi switching to his real man now. And coming out for some Mario. This is an interesting matchup. Alrighty, so we are going to be heading right on to Smash. Now this stage is good for both characters. Um, I'd have to say it's about a 50-50, just because, like, Marth has really good early cheese on this stage, because if he gets a tipper, <coughs> it is just insane the amount of knockback it has, and on this low ceiling stage, it's really helpful for Marth. And then Mario, he's just... I feel like he's very neutral on most stages, like, pretty good, not a great, but, like, not bad. So, I feel like it's an even matchup on this stage anyways. But Shogi attacking on a lot of percent. The B reverse. Alrighty, and both players are trying to get control of the neutral here. Mario is going to most like. Oh, and there is the shield breaker for the kill. Show up a stock with only 60% on him, looking quite good right now. Stringing a lot of these aerials together, getting a lot of damage on Mario. 43%, 53%. Very good. This is one of Shogi's favorite things to do, I find. Like, just when he gets the stock lead, he likes to take it as far as he can with the damage and just keep going. He doesn't take unnecessary risks unless he is just insanely far ahead. Mario, very smart option there, going for the up smash with the invincibility. A very good anti-aerial option. And the down smash coming out. If the platform wasn't... Nope. Oh, and he manages to get the kill off the down smash. Very nice there. <coughs> Alrighty, coming back onto the stage with the bear. That's a very unsafe option, especially against Mars, just based on... And there is the F smash. But yes, um, coming back onto the stage with a fair as Mario, very unsafe just because of the amount of lag. It gives time to Marth to space all of his moves. He could just run back and do a tip or F smash, so very unsafe there. Shogi just walling him out with fairs and back airs, trying to keep him off the stage where he wants him. He's doing a very good job of it. 63% on Mario and a full stock lead for Shogi. And a down throw into up B right away. You don't see that too, too often on Mario's. They usually elect to go for 
the up tilt into up airs, but that is not true. So nice option coming out. And the counter. And I feel like Mario's gonna want to use his fireballs. Oh, and there's the F smash coming out. Game two goes to Shogi. Well played by both players. Congratulations. And I'm already losing my voice after two matches of commentary. But again, good job to both players. Definitely not uh, nothing to be ashamed of losing to Shogi. You know, it'll just be a minute here while we get the next match set up. <laughs> 